Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading for the 6th through the 12th of January 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm pulling from the Animal Spirit Oracle along with the Illuminati Tarot for your weekly general messages. At the end of your reading, Aquarius, I will be pulling an Angels of the Light Oracle for you as well. Now, I want all of you to keep in mind, I have a huge family. I have grandchildren. They're at home right now. I have two toddlers downstairs. And if you hear them playing, running around, being toddlers, they're fine. Um, their mother and their father are down there with them. So, just keep that in mind. I get a lot of messages, I think, where people think that... I don't know what they think, but it's, um, I just want y'all to know that they're fine. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to go with that, all right? We're going to leave it at that. All right, I shouldn't have to explain myself, but I will anyway in case you're new, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, what messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, and we have one. Ooh, we have dragonfly. We have magic coming up here. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit. What does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know this week? 6th through the 12th of January, 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Aquarius need to know? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, we are ready. Situation, we have the Five of Swords. Crossing you is the Six of Cups. And your foundation is the High Priestess. Recent past energy, we have the King of Cups. Crowning you is the Two of Pentacles. Your new circumstance is the Chariot. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Love it. All right. Give me just a moment here. So we have two twos here and they're mirroring each other. You have the number 22 coming up here. And you also have the number 5, 6, and 7. I always say go and Google the angel number meaning. It's going to bring more clarity into your situation. Okay? All right. Let's start here. Dragonfly. Magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. That's amazing, Aquarius. Very positive. It's a beautiful energy right here. I feel like for many of you, you're releasing the old. It's like out with the old and in with the new. You're shedding old skin. You're shedding ways that are no longer serving you. And this could be shedding people that's no longer serving you as well. But nonetheless, you're understanding how powerful you are, how smart you are how magical you are, okay, and you're embracing it, and it's allowing for you to really, you know, your energy is shifting up to higher levels, okay, and it, it's a very powerful energy, I'm feeling it right now, I'm taking it in, because it, it feels really nice, I feel like a lot of you have been going through a lot, you've been going through some hard times, okay, some heavy energies, but nonetheless, you know, you have been doing the inner work and it's allowing for you to transition into a new way of being for the betterment of your situation. Now, what happens is when you go through this major transformation and uh, you shed old ways or old people and you're going through this transformation here, your cup, it's time for your cup to be refilled. You're being rejuvenated. And here comes this cup that's runneth over right here for you Aquarius and this is a blessing from spirit this is your cup being refilled um, all your hard work and your effort is being you know this is being given back to you because of that everything that you do has not gone 
unseen. It's been noticed. It may not be noticed by people here in this earthly world, but spirit sees it. Your angels and your spirit guides, they all are your cheerleaders. They're rooting you on and they're refilling your cup at this time. And it's allowing for you to be patient with yourself and we have a sense of peace as well, getting a sense of tranquility coming through here. Uh, you deserve to be blessed and it's coming. I feel many of you are already feeling this. Now, this could be an abundance of what you need in your life right now. And that's going to be different for each one of you. Some of you, it's love. Some of you, it's unconditional love. Some of you, it's money. Uh, some of you, it's needs that you need met. And it's going to happen unexpectedly. Okay? It's going to come from unexpected ways or people. But it will be met. Thank you, Spirit. Now, we have the Five of Swords as your current situation. Now, this is a five. Fives represents challenges and obstacles. I feel like you're dealing with someone or others or a work environment. This could be a relationship as well where tensions are high, emotions are running high, there's conflicting interests. You know, and I always like to say with this energy, pick and choose your battles wisely. But, you know, you don't have to put up with anybody's BS as well so there may be a need for some of you to set boundaries there may be a need for you to stand in your truth okay um you know you're here to live your unique destiny aquarius not anybody else's all right so what is give me just a moment i'm getting something here you're not meant to be here in this lifetime to live up to other people's expectations okay you're here to live your destiny i hope that came through clearly and made sense okay thank you spirit six of cups this is in your crossing position i feel like this six of cups has to do with this conflict this could be a conflict between a friend that you've been friends with for, for many years. This could be a romantic partner. This could have been somebody you thought was your twin flame, your soulmate. And I feel that whatever these conflicting interests are, you're realizing that there's a need for you to break free from this situation or this person. Okay? Uh, I feel like I'm getting a sense here of cutting your ties and walking away. Now, that's not for everyone. For some of you, um, this definitely, I feel like there's a need not to be so serious, okay, about what's going on. If this is challenges that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, try to choose to look at it from a point of view of it's something that you can gain knowledge, and knowledge is power. So, choose to look at those challenges and obstacles that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as a chance to learn okay but try not to be so serious i'm getting a sense here for some of you it's going to be very important for you to allow that inner child to come out and shine and play okay now for some of you this definitely could be talking about memories uh past memories this could be causing some conflicting interests as well um this could even be memories that are going back from childhood that could have been traumatic it could have been you know Let's just say it could have been very bad for you. And this could be maybe some energies that are being rehashed or memories. And th there's a need for you to embrace those feelings. Honor your emotions and your feelings. No matter how bad or good that you think they are, there's a need for you to honor them. Okay? Because when you can honor those, those emotions that rise up within you, especially if it comes from a bad experience or childhood and it was traumatic this can help you get to the root of the situation and the problem and it can help you not to i'm not saying forget you know we can't never forget about what we've been through but it can help you maybe release some of those toxic energies that you've been carrying around okay now we do have the high priestess coming up here in your foundation you guys always get the high priestess. You're always embodying this energy, and I love it. 
You know, this is what's moving you forward and driving you this week. You are tapping into that inner well of knowledge, okay? This is, you know, you guys are using your spiritual gifts. You're becoming more aware. You're awakening. You know, you are awake. And this is you understanding that, that power that you hold within you, that magic that you hold within you, okay? And this is really what allows for you to manifest and co-create your reality. This what this is energy is what allows you to, you know, understand that it's up to you to take action in your life to create change. And this is you really tapping into that energy and being able to do so. Okay, so for some of you, you know, you understand that the answers that you're seeking outside of you lie within you and you're really tapping into that. Now, I am getting a sense here. For some of you, there's something that you need to keep quiet or you need to keep a secret. And I do not know what that is. But if that message is for you, you're going to know it. Okay? Now, we have the King of Cups coming up here in your recent past energy. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, whether you're male or female. You know, this is you're still feeling this because it's showing up in your reading. Uh, you know, I feel like you guys have a lot of balance within your your emotions you have that stability there um i also feel that you're very generous you're very supportive to others and that could be where a lot of this conflict maybe that arose or that come up somebody could have definitely been taking advantage of the situation maybe taking advantage of you and you know i feel like you're coming from a space of you've really got to stand your ground and stand in your truth but it's also painful as well but you know that you've got to do it for the betterment of yourself, you know, your your sanity, you know, so to speak. So I see you doing that. This also talks about, again, we're talking about how much wisdom and knowledge that you hold within yourself, okay, and that you tap into it. Now you have the Two of Pentacles coming up here in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Many of you, got you've got a lot going on. Okay, and you got a lot on your plate, but you do it gracefully. I do feel, though, with this, for some of you, there's a need to let a pinnacle go. Now, this pinnacle be, can be different because there are so many of you watching, but you, you're going to know if that message is for you. I do feel for the majority of you, we're talking about a major uh, decision that needs to be made, and it has to do with your money, your finances, maybe your job or your career, but it's going to be for the betterment of your situation. Now, we have the chariot coming up here as your new circumstance, and I love this, okay? This is you triumphantly moving away from adversity, okay? You're moving away from challenges and obstacles. The chariot is the energy of cancer, and you're embodying this energy. The momentum, the speed is going to pick up, you know, by the end of this week. And there's some type of sense of accomplishment and achievement that comes with this. For many of you, it's taking back power and control over your situation, your circumstances, you being back in the driver's seat. And most importantly, you know exactly where you're headed, where you're going when this energy comes up. Okay, you know what you want, you know what makes you happy, and you're going after it. And Spirit says you're doing it successfully. Okay, there's a promise of success here. Thank you, Spirit. All right. All right, Aquarius. Many different situations going on here. Usually don't have this much going on in, you know, the, the weekly reading. But I see so many different situations that could be taking place for m many of you. Thank you, Spirit. And always remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? All right. We're ready. Beauty. Love it. The outer world is a reflection of your inner. So focus on the beauty within yourself. Your good qualities, your kindnesses, your gifts, and talents. Remember that whatever you give attention to increases and grows. Everyone has some beauty in their soul, so seek it in others. Remind them of their qualities and you will illuminate them. Surround yourself with things and people with a beautiful vibration. For we are all influenced by that which is around us. As you tune more and more into the incredible wonder of yourself, 
others and the planet, your resonance becomes that of beauty. Others will perceive the radiance of your soul and be touched by it. And Aquarius, the affirmation to this oracle is, I recognize my beauty and that of others. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please let me know what's going on in your life and your situation here. Leave me a comment. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.